In this lesson we will learn about, Arthur Lewis dual sector model, devised in 1954. Arthur Lewis put forward a development model of a dualistic economy, consisting of rural agricultural and urban manufacturing sectors. The model assumes an economy contains two distinct sectors. Firstly, there is the capitalist sector, characterized by a capital-intensive manufacturing process, relying on the use of reproducible capital, higher average wages, higher marginal and average productivity, higher demand for labor. Contrasting this, there will also be a subsistence or agricultural sector in an economy. This involves a labor-intensive production process, low dependency on capital, low marginal and average productivity, low average wages. The traditional agricultural sector was assumed to be of a subsistence nature characterized by low productivity, low incomes, low savings and considerable underemployment. The industrial sector was assumed to be technologically advanced with high levels of investment operating in an urban environment. Lewis suggested that the modern industrial sector would attract workers from the rural areas. Industrial firms, whether private or publicly owned could offer wages that would guarantee a higher quality of life than remaining in the rural areas could provide. Furthermore, as the level of labor productivity was so low in traditional agricultural areas people leaving the rural areas would have virtually no impact on output. Indeed, the amount of food available to the remaining villagers would increase as the same amount of food could be shared amongst fewer people. This might generate a surplus which could then be sold generating income. Those people that moved away from the villages to the towns would earn increased incomes. Higher incomes generate more savings. Increased savings meant more fund available for investment. Increased investment meant more capital and increased productivity in the industrial sector higher wages, more incentive to move from low productivity agriculture to high productivity industry. The circle continues. Initially, the majority of labor is employed upon the land, which is a fixed resource. Labor is a variable resource and, as more labor is put to work on the land, diminishing marginal returns eventually set in. Urban workers, engaged in manufacturing, tend to produce a higher value of output than their agricultural counterparts. The resultant higher urban wages might therefore tempt surplus agricultural workers to migrate to cities and engage in manufacturing activity. High urban profits would encourage firms to expand and hence result in further rural urban migration. These profits are assumed to be reinvested. This investment leads to growth within the sector, causing the capitalist PPF to shift outwards. The model has been criticized primarily on the basis of the assumptions it makes. Firstly, it assumes that capital is the main factor contributing to long-run growth, like other exogenous growth theories. For a developing economy, there may be some truth to this concept, but even in this situation capital investment is evidently not the only factor causing growth. Improved government policies, for example, could improve human capital leading to increased growth. Secondly, the model assumes that all profits will be reinvested. This is often untrue, it may be in the short run interests of a company not to invest meaning particularly if a company is poorly managed, investment will not happen to the same extent, limiting the effects on long run growth. A final key criticism is that the model assumes that there are a large number of unproductive agricultural workers. 
This may be the case at certain times of the year, but the number of workers required for agriculture varies seasonally. At harvest, those workers who were previously unproductive may become productive. As such, transferring workers to the manufacturing sector may in fact cause a reduction in agricultural output, even if those workers are unproductive and so seem surplus for much of the year. Hope your doubts are clear. You can ask your questions and queries in the comments. Also please like and share the video. Subscribe to stay updated. Thank you.